Oh dear community of mine, this is the last video of Operation Don't Panic. But don't worry, I have gotten the taste, the thirst for making these videos. So I'm going to be making a lot more uh, just on different topics. So today's theme, it's actually a pretty good lean into to the next series of videos I'm going to be doing because I want to talk about how to plan for the future when the future is uncertain. When you don't know what's going to happen next, you don't know the world is changing. We're getting different news day in, day out. See my video on decision fatigue, right? Things are changing so often. Sometimes I'm having to, you know, I'm, I'm sharing a decision with my chief of ops, Celine, and then an hour or two later, new information has come out. And I'm changing that decision and telling her because this situation has changed. So how do we plan for the future in these times? Well, other than not panicking <laughs> and creating some like cycles and iterations for you to observe things, really there are some things that you can't go wrong investing in. Primarily yourself. I mean, self-care and self-work, baby. Those are two sides of the same coin, right? We talk about self-care like, oh, if I take a bath now and then, that might make up for the massive amounts of stress that I'm under. It's a little bit more than that, right? It's about building habits and cycles into your life that support you, that nourish you. I was talking to my coach last week. Oh, it's just, if you have the opportunity to talk to a peer or a mentor to give you some advice, if you have a coach, just just please talk to them. Um, if, if it's not satisfying to you, maybe they're the wrong person for you. But basically, he reminded me that when we're going through this process, when we're freaking out, not only is it always worse in your head than it is in reality, but when it comes to self-care, when it comes to making sure that you're not overwhelmed with stress and so that you're able to serve your team well, right? Serve your community well, serve your audience well, it's important to carve out some time for you. Not every once in a while, but on a regular freaking basis, every day if need be. My peeps with families, with kids, etc. If you got kids, you got a lot of stuff going on in your day, you got a busy day, this could be very early morning for you. I'm looking at you. Um, anyway, it could be lots of different times, it could be just after the kids go to bed, etc. But carve out some time for you. That's the self care work. It is your time. You get to decide what you do in that time, but make sure you carve it out. What I've been doing, I've been going for walks, listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks while I'm on those walks. Oh, it just, it just clears my mind. I go visit the ocean, look at some sea lions, and I think, wow, this physical isolation thing isn't so bad, right? Now, I'm blessed to be able to have that, right? It's also my choice. I moved here, wanted to live here. Um, but find the things that fill your soul and carve out time for them regularly, right? That is something you can invest in. Self-work as well, growing, learning, changing, observation, habits, hard truths, right? This can be on the business end of things. This can also be on the personal end of things. Conflict, communication, marketing. There's so many things you can learn and improve in yourself right now. Now, if we're taking it one strategic step further, maybe you want to align it with your longer term goals, with your vision, with your values, etc. But just do some self work. Okay, other things you can be working on. This is a great, great time to be working on your growth strategy, so your business strategy, right? Um, now, this depends on your situation. If you are just, you know, serving perhaps a niche or an audience that's crazy busy right now, maybe you're helping take people online, you're just overwhelmingly busy, that's okay, you know, uh, you're gonna have to keep going with the busyness for a little while. But those of you who work is slow down or you have people who are putting stuff on pause or you're leaning a little bit harder on your retainer clients right now, that's okay. This is a great opportunity for you to be doing some work inside the business. Now, this can look a lot of different things, right? Often operationally, I would say that pretty much every business we come across has some operational things to kind of iron out around, you know, your high level service framework, your SOPs, your, even your organization of your staff, your leadership work, right? But this is also an amazing time to be working on growth strategy. You've probably been hearing it from influencers all over the place, right? This is a great time to be producing content. This is a great time to be that leader that people look to, to be sharing your wisdom, to be sharing your knowledge. Maybe launching that new service right now in these uncertain times, maybe it might be better to pause it unless it's a service that is targeted and specific for these times, in which case two big thumbs up. Um, Whatever you're doing, you clearly have already been on this video's work and moving ahead, right? But focus on the strategy, focus on the growth plan, focus on turning tactics into systems, build out a marketing engine, do some rapid iteration around some ideas that you have, 
right? If you're interested, we have all throughout the month of April, we are doing a whole podcast series on growth strategy, right? So growth strategy is basically any recurring cyclical and iterative process that is goal and metric driven that is driving you towards increased traffic, engagement, conversions, or retention, right? So we're doing a four part series on that every week, audio podcast, also on YouTube. Uh, I think the last two episodes are videos on YouTube because we just, just transitioned into video mode uh, that you can watch and get some ideas on how to work on it. We're giving you everything. We're giving you our templates, FAQs, everything. So you can do this for yourself or you can do this for clients. There is so much you can be working on behind the scenes. But in terms of order, in terms of priority, I can't emphasize it enough. Focus on yourself, invest in yourself. If you have some reserves, some stuff to sit on, maybe focus on your team too, you know, invest a little into them, into their growth, you know, maybe shore up some education, some proof points, et cetera, for them too. But the fact is, is that crisis stress, and I'm not trying to downplay how big those are, but as big of like just crappy things we have to endure, you have an equally big opportunity here. The force of the work that you're doing, the force of your vision, the force of what you're accomplishing is only ever as strong as what you are standing against. And there is a heck of a lot to stand against right now. There's a heck of a lot. There are lots of crazy stuff going on, right? It's overwhelming, it's stressful, everyone's in crisis mode. This is your time to shine, baby. This is your time to identify where the opportunities are and leverage them. So what's next? That's up to you. How are you going to move forward? Totally okay if you spent some time panicking. Totally okay if you spent some time in personal crisis, not uncertain about the future. But are you gonna let stress be the thing that propels you forward? Or are you gonna let it hold you back and keep you fixed in one place? And not to mention pretty unhappy and miserable. Being in that constant state of stress, not really a fun time. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you know, feel free to just share what you're doing, what's working for you, et cetera. And feel free, if you're interested in more content, more videos, let me know, uh, share your ideas, right? Um, Jazz, who is our chief of marketing, is the person who is monitoring most of our channels. She is happy to respond directly to you. She will pass on messages to me. Like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. We are on Instagram, we are on every podcast platform, we are on YouTube, we are on Facebook like us, follow us. We are here for you. We are producing as much as we can. We are practicing what we preach, baby. We are giving you as much value as we can to help you thrive in these times. So help us help you. Anyway, take care. Have a good one. Hope you have a great rest of your day.